Yo, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We got week one, Cam Newton, what he did with the Patriots, um, Kansas City, um, did, did they screw the Cowboys up on that last play of the drive? We got Black Quarterback Series Season 2. I'm so excited about this. Let's get into it, man. A black quarterback can never make it in college or professional. Everything is opening up now. It's not just that black quarterbacks are guys. What you have now is franchise elite passers. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yo, yo, yo. Look, look. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Spent thousands of racks on handmade new rags. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. That's everybody from sports to college class to rap. Yo, so John, so if you don't know, my name is Keith. Um, I do black black quarterbacks all the time. Um, and this is episode one of season two. Um, if you didn't see any of my preseason stuff, um, you can go check that out. Um, it'll be a playlist at the end of the video. So let's get into it now, bro. So our first game was Kansas City against Houston. Houston got their rings a week, uh, like a week or two ago. Um, that's it. Kansas City got their rings a couple weeks ago. Um, and we have Deshaun. Can he do it without? I got Hop on Mahomes. Can he repeat another Super Bowl run? So let's get into this, man. Um, both teams. No, 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 I lied. Um, so let's start with Kansas City. So Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes was the running game is very important i would hate to say this but kansas city kind of almost was well patrick was kind of a game manager he really didn't do much um now i say do much very lightly because he he was 24 for 32 211 yards and three touchdowns that's pedestrian for him but he didn't need to do much because they ran away with the game um they ran away with the game. Um, it was never really close. Um, <laughs> that's really all I can say about that side. So, on the Houston side, um, and we're going to talk about him even more later on, in, later on in the episode. Since Hopkins is not on a team, you feel it. And Deshaun Watson felt it. Like, uh, I forgot who said it, but they now, instead of having a number one, they have a lot of twos and threes, right? So... You can see Deshaun was still trying to figure out how to play without his top guy. It is it, it was just an awful trade all around. Um, they should have found out the way to pay to to pay hop. It was just a dumb trade. And I know Deshaun has he's the second highest paid guy in the league now, but it's just like, come on man. You you have to find some type of way to pay your guys. And Bill, or whatever the coach name is, he needs to be fired. I'm sick of him. It's only game one. But just based off what he's done in the preseason, pre offseason, I need him to go. He's going to ruin Deshaun Watson's career. And that's what it's looking like. And even then, Deshaun Watson didn't have a bad game. He was 20. He was 20 for 32, 253 yards, a touchdown in the pick. And he tried his best. He tried his best, but it's typical Deshaun. Ran for his life, tried to keep the tried to keep the Texans in the game and he just couldn't do it. He couldn't do it because he had no help on the offensive end. It, it's starting to remind me of kind of how Aaron Rodgers' career went. Unfortunately. Aaron Rodgers, Andrew Luck, it, it seems like Deshaun is going to have that type of trajectory where, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, but is, is he ever going to have the right talent around him to take him to the next level? So, uh, it remains to be seen. So, now we got my guy, the one I started this series for, and the one I don't have I don't have the Patriots jersey yet. I'm gonna get it eventually. I'm sure at some, at some point in the season y'all will see me with him. Oh, I can't even believe I'm saying this. At some point in the season you'll see me with the Patriots jersey. So let's get it to Cam Newton. So this is his first game back. This is his first game back after being gone for forever. I think this is his first healthy game in like two and a half years, right? 
Probably three almost. Um, his first really healthy game in I don't know how long. You can tell that he was healthy. He looked like typical Cam Newton, the good one, the good, healthy MVP Cam. Now, I would say he was a little bit more of a game manager, a little bit, a little bit. But they ran a they ran a Lamar Jackson style offense where he was doing a little more game managing. He was dumping the ball off, um, made a, a couple great throws to Edelman, ran some read option. He had two rushing touchdowns, 15 attempts for uh, 75 yards. And uh, the throws wasn't bad. The throws wasn't bad. He did what he had to do. 15 for 19, 155 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. So, like I said, he managed the game well. He didn't do anything that would hurt the Patriots. Uh, I would have liked to see them score more, but you they won the game. So, um, that's really all I can go. That's really all I can ask for from game one with the pandemic going on. And y'all not having the real reps or... In the preseason, he played well for it to be pre- the the football the level of football this week was really good for nobody to have had a preseason. I was very surprised about that. That blew me. That blew me. Let's get into Kyler Murray. So, Kyler Murray, another one, the hop the hop effect. So Hopkins is with them now, and um. Let me say his numbers, 14 receptions for 101 yards, no touchdowns, right? With those type um, of crazy yards, you would think Kyler had a good game. Kyler had a really good game. It's, it seems like it's a new era in Arizona, especially offensively. Defensively, they play well, too. I'm not even going to cut them. I'm not even going to shortchange the defense. They play really well. Um, now, granted, I didn't really watch the defensive end, but the highlights and from what I watched when I watched the game, um, when I watched the game, the defense really showed up. For uh, sidebar, y'all, if you're an NFL fan and you don't have red zone or any type of thing like that, because I got red zone now. Um, I bought red zone um, for my first time because I wanted to watch all the games. Man, I really, I, they're not. I'm not sponsored. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by nobody yet. But get red zone. You will never want to look at a football. You will never want to look at Sunday Sunday football. The same ever again if you get bread down. I got it on my YouTube TV, and I would never go back. So, that's just a little sidebar. So, let's get into Kyler Murray. 26-40. I think he threw too much. They were running the ball pretty well. So, I don't know why he threw so much. But the running was predicated on Kyler Murray running it. Because, uh, let me break down the numbers. 26-40, 230 yards, a touchdown and an interception. 13 attempts, 91 yards rushing in a touchdown. So he had two touchdowns and an interception on the on the game. Um Kyler Murray, like I've been saying, like I said last year, or like, like I said all last year, he's a baby Lamar. He looks like Lamar last year. And if he can take those strides where he can be a better passer, um, more of a passer in the pocket, um, more of a traditional I don't want to be like traditional as in like the dinosaurs that played earlier. Um, but traditional in the sense to where he can get the ball out and still be a threat. He he can still be a threat running. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about I guess Kyler Murray's ultimate evolution. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about him later. So um they stuck it out and they won. They won a really good game. It was a really, really good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So a new guy who we talked about last year, we talked about last year, but um, we didn't get to see him chance. We didn't get a chance to see him play unless it was in the preseason. Uh, it was Tyrod Taylor. Now, I was thoroughly disappointed in Tyrod Taylor's level of play. For you to get the starting job, and for Alex Lynn to believe in you, and for you to not play well at all, I'm gonna call it like it is. You've been in the league too long to play that bad. Now, he didn't play awful. He didn't play awful. I'm not I'm not saying that he played awful. But for you to play like a rookie, it kind of upset me because I'm like, you've been in the league for I don't know how long, but you play like a rookie. Like when I looked at him, I'm like, Kyler Murray played better than you, but you've been in the league longer. So I was very upset at Tyrod um, for like the lack of 
I guess it factor when I was when I was watching Ty, when I was watching Tyra Taylor, I was like, he don't have it. He he just have, he doesn't have it. He's the he's gonna be the Jacoby Brissett of this year if he starts all this year. So and I honestly don't know if he's even gonna start all this year because um they have that young dude behind him. So I don't know. Hopefully he starts all this year, but I don't know. I don't know. Um let me say his numbers if I didn't say his numbers. 208 yards passing, 16 for 30. And if it wasn't if it wasn't for a missed kick, he would have uh probably lost that game because Joe Burrow thoroughly outplayed him in that fourth quarter. So them highlights are really good. I watched that game live. It was a really good game. Um shout out to Joe Burrow. Looks like we got Russell Wilson. <laughs> First of all, they played um um the Falcons. That should tell you all you need to say. Y'all need to know. DK Metcalf is a monster. He is. This dude is just a monster. Four receptions, 95 yards, and a touchdown. Russell Wilson was just better. He was just better than Atlanta. Everything you wanted from Russell Wilson, you got it. Running around, making plays, out there playing like his little league. Just everything you needed from Russell Wilson. Now they, they kind of ran into a bump. They gave him like two, three touchdowns. And it made it look like it was going to be a game, but it was never really a game. It, um, it was never a real, real game. So, um, play well. 31 for 35, 322 yards, four touchdowns, three attempts to 29 rushing yards. Wilson was just that guy. So, we're going to move on to Teddy Bridgewater. And, man, when I say I was impressed, Teddy Bridgewater is what I thought Tyrod was going to be. Like, Teddy, you go look at his highlights. I might put a couple of them up. I don't want to get copy, you know, copyright written. But you look at the way Tyrod moves, and you look at the way that uh, Teddy moves. They're about the same build, the same stout, probably about the same color too, same skin complexion, I should say. And they just are different players. Like Teddy Bridgewater is just more talented. And I was very surprised. I thought it was the other way around. Teddy Bridgewater is a lot more mobile than I thought he was. They ended up losing the game, but it wasn't because of him. He played well. Uh, 22 for 34, 270 yards, four attempts, 26 rushing yards. Um, no touch, no touchdowns, but he played well. He played the, the, the level of play was up to par with some of he's in the second tier of good, of good black quarterbacks. Um, like I say, he's more talented. Um, picked right up where he left from last year when uh, he led the Saints. And I thoroughly believe that the Saints will be really hot take. I don't think the Saints are going to make any noise in the playoffs. Like they, I don't think they're... I think they'd be better off with uh, Teddy Bridgewater probably in the lineup. Because I like Jameis, but I don't think Jameis is better than Teddy. And I don't think... I think Drew Brees is going to have a typical Drew Brees year. But throughout the second half, he's going to... He's 40 freaking one or two or something like that. He's old. <laughs> so, let's get to Lamar. Um, nothing I can really say other than Lamar has learned how to pass better. You look at some of his passes, I'm putting some, I'm going to put some of the highlights in the video. He throws on a rope now. Much, the passes, he's right here. The passes are way more accurate. Um, he only rushed for what 45 yards he only has seven rushing attempts he threw 20 for 25 for 275 yards and three touchdowns like them are quarterback numbers them are quarterback numbers those are not running back masquerading as a quarterback numbers those are quarterback numbers so it leads me to believe that he became more of a passer he worked on his issues and we can all learn from that working on the issues that you're not that, that you're not good at um Almost a perfect game. Didn't make no big mistakes. They blew out Cleveland, um, and it was just a great game. It was a great game for him. Uh, I was very, I was very proud of him and how well he played. Getting to Dwayne Haskins. So I don't know. I wish I could give you a deep analysis of what happened. And <laughs> they came back from seventeen point down, seventeen points down, and. I didn't I didn't watch the uh Carson Wentz. I didn't watch the offense. I just watched um every time Dwayne had the ball. 
and he did not play well the first like two and a half almost three quarters and then the fourth it's it's like the eagles couldn't stop nobody the eagles couldn't stop nobody um because his numbers don't bear that he played as well as he did down the stretch um 17 for 31 138 yards a touchdown seven attempts seven attempts of 17 rushing yards like the the production does not match the comeback and i'm just confused so i watched these highlights you know just to get a reminder and i'm just like um what so that that's an anomaly game i'm gonna call that the anomaly game so uh the washington the washington football team wins their first game is the washington football team all the talented people in washington and that's the name they came up with so i don't know and the last game of the night was the Cowboys versus my old team, um, the Rams. And if you don't, guys don't know, I live in St. Louis, and they left here. And so I thought I was going to be a fan of them, but they got out there, and I was like, I, I can't even get their games now. So, eh. so um, Dak Prescott, regular pedestrian Dak Prescott, 25-38, touchdown, 266 passing yards. So, um, they got they got screwed. They got screwed. That wasn't a pass. That wasn't a pass interference. I'm going to show you guys um, how general, how, I can't remember the name of the dude, but how that was not a pass interference. It shouldn't have been called a pass interference. And that pretty much cost them the game. Um, and watch, re-watching it back, it just, it, it looks like Dak really didn't have as much time as he's used to having. Um, I know Dallas has a great offensive line, but it just like the Rams offensive line got the better of them tonight um, as to why Dak really couldn't move. Dak needs to move more. I don't understand why they don't put him in more bootlegs and more read options and, you know, stuff like that to where he can move more. Um, the, the offensive line is definitely not what it, what it once was, even last year. Um, it's getting a little older. Um, but... It just, they, they didn't look like a cohesive unit and therefore they gave up cracks in the armor, so to speak. And Dak really was getting sacked a lot. Aaron Donald was a great player, but um, it it just, it wasn't regular Dallas football. You know what I mean? Um, Dak, or not Dak, um, Zeke, um, 22 attempts for 96 yards. Like that's okay, but that's not going to get it done. You know, um, but all that being said, they were screwed at the end because of the call I showed y'all. Uh, because of the past interference call that I showed y'all, uh, that I'm showing y'all now. So, other than that, he played, he played Dak, he paid like Dak Prescott, you know what I mean? So, um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, I don't think we have a Monday night game, but if we have a Monday night game, y'all will see later me. <laughs> so, um, that's all I got for y'all. Thanks for watching this. I guess my videos are gonna be a lot longer this year. We have, a, I think, I feel like we have more quarterbacks this year. Uh, Cam is healthy. Tyrod is playing the full season. Um, Teddy is gonna be playing the full season. And who knows? We might, we might get. Um, I'm putting his face up, face up here because I'm blanking on his name right now. Um, can't remember his name. His face is up here. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Um, we might get him. Um, Place from New Orleans, and I'm just blanking on his name right now. Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston. There you go. That's his name. Uh, we might get Jameis Winston this year, um, and there's a couple other guys backing up other guys that we might get. So um, it's going to be a really good season. It was a really good first week. I thoroughly enjoyed just about every game, even even games I wasn't really covering. I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, it was a good week of football. Um, I'm all for the protesting, um, but I didn't see a lot of it today. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna leave a I'm gonna leave a card at the end of all everything leading up to here. So if you want to, if you liked what you heard, and you want to get a better reaction about what I said in the early in the season or early in the off season, just check that out. Uh, and I'll see y'all next week. Have a good rest of the week, guys. Passers. Yo, yo, look, look, assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black, spent about to rack.
racks on handmade do rags. Shoot me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. I'm sorry, everybody from sports to college class to rap.